Well, I had to restock my backpack and my first aid kit because, well, my sister's a freak. And uh, she won't take offense to that once I explain to you why I had to restock my backpack. So, we were out hiking yesterday. And we girl, little Astrid, she was hiking on, taking some pictures, doing stuff. And right where I stepped, she's like, oh, wait, Dad, look, there's bones. And so we started investigating, buried under the leaves right where I was walking was this. We found most of what I assume is a dog or a small coyote, possibly. Couldn't find enough of the skull to tell, but I'm guessing from the canine teeth or, or those incisors, the sharp ones up front. I don't know, but we recovered most of the vertebra, ribs. There's some ribs poking out in there. Two of the scapula, part of the skull, two jaw bones. And that's why I have to restock my backpack because since my sister is such a freak, I always carry a bunch of extra bags with me. I carry Ziploc bags just for situations like this where when we start picking up the bones and random animal carcasses is that the plural for carcass carcasses well, it doesn't matter sometimes we find more than one i put them in the bag seal them up throw them in the backpack if it's not too nasty which you know has been the case before we found a stray skull or two we just put them into the grocery bag throw it in the backpack but for situations like yesterday in my little handy dandy first aid kit because you know i tend to get hurt sometimes when we're out hiking with the kids carry a bunch of gloves not because we don't want to get somebody infected if we're treating them. Not because we want to keep ourselves safe if we're treating somebody that's bleeding. No, it's usually to pick up dead animals. My sister and my wife, as a matter of fact, have been known to pick up roadkill. Uh, dead animals in the woods that died from unknown causes. Uh, caches of bones, just like that right there. And so that is why I have to stock my backpack with what it would appear to be a crime scene kit sometimes. And, uh, you know, sometimes I want to do that too, just string around some caution tape and all that. So if you've got a weird sister like me, just throw it in the comments below. If you're ever out in the woods, find some stray bones and want to send them to her, feel free to do that as well. She loves anything dead, especially human bones. If you ever find any human bones, feel free to mail those to us. Um, might want to DM me on that though to get the address because we don't want to you know, we don't want to spread the news far and wide about uh, the fact that you're mailing me bones. Might be against the law in some states. All right, y'all take care. Hey guys, Dr. Dave here. I just wanted to add a last little word. Some of y'all have been asking about the man on a bear t-shirts. So if you want one of those, just look down below in the YouTube merch section there and you can order one. There's some other t-shirts and stuff that show up. They're all for me, but you can pop on there. There are several different versions of the man on a bear. And so be sure to get yours or a sticker or a hat or something. Support the man on a bear and it'll help feed my kids. Y'all take care.